Hello everyone, it's Laurie and welcome back to a new Draw This In Your Style episode. It's been actually a year since I've uploaded a new one and I'm so sorry about that. I've been very busy with different art projects and just different stuff in general. And I finally had some time to record a new one and I'm super excited to show you the drawings that I'm going to draw today. So if you don't know what Draw This In Your Style is, it's basically when you recreate someone's original artwork in your own style. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. And today I'm going to recreate three artworks from these three different artists which are... Airly-Z? Airly-Z? I have no idea how to pronounce that and I probably pronounced it wrong. I apologize. And the second artist is Serendipity the Artist and the last one is Nathan Pentagang. As always, I'm going to leave you all the links in the description of all these amazing artists so you can follow them. Their art is absolutely amazing and I love each single one of them. So please make sure to go and support them. I'm going to leave you all the links of their different social medias in the description down below. So please really check them out. And if you want to have a chance to have your artwork drawn by me, feel free to put this hashtag draw this in your style lorry under any of your Instagram posts. And maybe you're going to have a chance to have your artwork drawn by me, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into the speed paints. So the first artwork that I'm redrawing belongs to the artist Air Lizzie, which I have probably pronounced wrong i'm sorry about that but i really 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 love her art it's addicting just her art style is aesthetically pleasing everything about her art is aesthetically pleasing the textures and just i <laughs> her art is addicting not gonna lie like i really love it and the reason why i decided to draw this one is because i just really really like the whole aesthetic of this drawing it's it's so simple but at the same time it's so eye-catching get it because there's an eye Okay, that was a very bad pun, I'm sorry. It's not even a pun, what the heck. Anyway, uh, the reason why I actually decided to redraw this one is because I really like the whole eyeball concept. And as you know me, I really like drawing eyes and I love eyeballs. So <laughs> I really, really had a lot of fun redrawing this. And I did make it into a, I guess you could say, almost full body drawing, but not really because her legs aren't completely showing and it stops by the knees. But I decided to make the little background look like a star starry sky, kinda. And and she's basically sitting on clouds and just holding her bloody eyeball for some reason. <laughs> I really like that. I think that the most difficult part about this drawing was definitely the hand. And I did not know how I managed to draw it at the end. But I did, and I'm actually very proud of it. That's probably the part that I like the most about this drawing. But nonetheless, I really like how this drawing turned out. And I did try some new things, which I've been trying out lately with my art. And I'm very happy with them. And yeah, I really hope you guys like it as well. <laughs> The second artwork that I'm redrawing belongs to Serendipity, the artist, and I absolutely love their art as well. It's just so different and so... I don't know how to describe it, but it's so smooth, shiny. It feels, it feels like you can actually touch it through the screen, which is pretty weird, but I don't know. Just take a look by it for yourself, I guess. That's why you should go check them out. Link in the description. <laughs> But the reason why I decided to draw their artwork is because I absolutely love this whole vibrant color ice cream concept and I absolutely love the ice cream as a face. That is, I just feel like that is so creative and I really like it and also the color scheme is just so vibrant which is pretty much up to my standards because I really like vibrant colors even though sometimes it doesn't look like it but I really do. And I had a lot of fun drawing this character as well and I did decide to turn the ice cream into an eyeball instead of a face because I like eyes like i said and i think it looks cool and also the artist said that we could change the ice cream flavor so that's exactly what i did it's an eyeball flavor is that a real thing no but maybe i don't know no anyway um <laughs> i did change the pose a little bit and i did struggle with the hand so much that i had to take a, my own picture as a reference picture which i never do because i cannot pose 
for the life of me and um still the hand looks very weird just the whole angle the way that she's holding the ice cream is just not correct at all but whatever i still like this drawing and i hope you guys do too drawing that i'm recreating for today belongs to nathan panda gang aka my boyfriend and this is pork jumin if you get the joke i love you <laughs> the reason why i really wanted to draw this uh, one is because he looks absolutely gorgeous i just oh my god i love everything about this character he just you know he's hot he's so cute and just looking at that drawing that drawing screams gorgeous model gucci yes i changed the concept a little bit because we had a little bit of a creative freedom i guess we could change the pose and the outfit so that's exactly what i did i decided to turn it into a magazine cover which is something that i've never done before but i've seen a, quite a few artists do and i really wanted to try it out for myself and i'm actually very happy with the end result and yeah, let me know what you think. Should I do more of these kinds of artworks? Because I feel like I should. I really like them. I really like doing it. I really enjoyed doing it. It was pretty fun. And I'm also very happy on how he turned out. Um, it's He looks a little bit feminine, but I think it's okay. He's supposed to be Korean, I guess. You can't really see that in my drawing. But I'm still, I'm very happy on how he turned out. And yes, he has claws. Well, he's long ass nails under those gloves. <laughs> I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to follow all these amazing artists. Once again, link in the description. And if you like what you see, maybe consider leaving a thumbs up. And maybe subscribing as well and clicking the little bell to receive a notification every time I upload a new video. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you all next time. Bye!